yeah. I got black, I got white, what you want? Hop outside a ghost and hop up in a fan, on. Oh. I know I'm about to blow, oh. The Coastal Conference Championship is set to tip off, and after three consecutive final losses, can Bay City finally get over the hump? Kevin, if it's going to happen, it has to happen behind their senior, the man they call Shea, who could have went out after his freshman year. That's right. He has a chance to cement his legacy. He is the storyline for sure in this one. Yes, he is. Let's go, Che. Let's go. Shoot it, Che. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. And we're underway. The Coastal Conference Tournament Finals in action. And should be a great one with Bay City taking on Central Valley. Yes, indeed. Well, you have to love the chances for Bay City. The Flames with the talent they have on their roster. Great depth, top to bottom, and plan on their home court nonetheless. And the senior leadership a factor as well. Che isn't going to let this team lose focus as he feels this is their year. Well, this should be a fun one as Central Valley has had a great season in their own right. Well, the big Estonian marching grew. Now a junior for the Flames after Che. He might be the next Bay City player to make the jump to the NBA. And this is who the Bay City Flames have to start things off. It's their leader, Che, at point. Next to him on the wings are Ty Sheldon and Bobby Erickson. Rounding things out at the four and the five are Dustin Joseph and big Marchin Grew. And a look here now at the lineup for Central Valley. It's Lee running the point with Marseda at his side. The forwards are Indra at the three with Zadirko at the four. In the middle, they have big Vlad Dermanenko to round things out. He hits the second from the line. And guys with Drew, the skills need development, but the size is definitely there. And he is still learning the game as well as being a full-time student and acclimating to the United States. But from what you hear about the coaching staff, the kid is motivated and destined for great things. Bay City has always been one of the major teams in college basketball. Very storied program that has found success in every decade. And even when Bay City falls out of the top 25 for a few years, you can always count on them coming back. This school is passionate about the game of basketball and makes sure they don't stay down for long. Here's Edwards. Lays it up and banks it in. And really, Marseilla's teammates have to appreciate the unselfishness there. Nice work to find the open man. Pass to Erickson. Back to Che. No good that time. Now the Hawks take it the other way. Three on three. 
Here's Marceda. It's good. And Teddy Edwards with the assist that time. How about three or four from the floor to start? That's always a good sign. Green against Edwards. And there's the foul. It's on Zadirko. That is his first foul of the game. Green against Edwards. Steps back and fires. Again, Shea missing. Shea's gone one of three shooting so far. Great offensive performance they're putting on. And guys, we call that the zone because that's where they are right now. They are in a zone, and I'm sure they feel unstoppable. Now, here's Zadirko. Pass to Dermanenko. Central Valley working the ball around now. Edwards, that's good. Time out, time out. Well, not too many former Central Valley Hawks have made the Sorry. jump to the next level, but that could change in the near future. And they've done an excellent job of recruiting, and it has been a slow turning of the tide for the Hawks. Certainly a school that is up and coming in the Coastal Conference. <laughs> And Central Valley has possession. Trailing by four. And he lobs it up. Deflects the pass. They need this. Offensive rebound. The pass to Madison. Here is Edwards. Splitter covering. Second shot opportunity. Goes back up. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Count it. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the flame. From downtown, gets the three-pointer to fall. Shea's got six. Nice-looking stroke on the three ball. Shea looks more than comfortable firing away from outside. Green against Edwards. Evans with some nice D. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. And look at first-year player Porter Rose. What a surprise he was for Bay City. And he has arguably been their best freshman. Now here's Edwards. Seven points in the game. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. How about the basket there from Edwards? This kind of gritty finish should definitely impress NBA team. And the Flames making a change here. Days checked in, and Guy is thinking about Rose. He had to fight his way into this rotation. And he's proven that he can play and is lightning fast. Wouldn't be surprised to see him starting next season. Now here's Che. Six points for him. Pass to Ducey. He tries for three. Central Valley pulls it in. Jones has got four rebounds now tonight. The fader. Edwards can't hit. They said he's leading by five. Pass to Ducey. Let's it go from deep. Good on the three-point shot. Six points for him. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. Well, Ty Sheldon, one of the main weapons for this Bay City team. Very talented guard who can punish you if you forget about him. You want your bigs playing big. Rips it down in traffic. Jay outside. Fires the three. Rebound by the Hawks. And with Sheldon as the third option for the Flames, guys, he gets a lot of good looks. Well, Che and Gru take up a ton of the attention of most defenses. When Sheldon gets space and finds his rhythm, he can take over a game. And Central Valley with possession here. Following the three-point attempt by Che. Lock at six. Edwards passes to Andrews from deep three-point range. Doesn't go that time. So the Flames will take it the other way. 
Pass to Ducey. Back to Jay. And here are the Flames now. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And that sends Che to the free throw line. And that one on Dermanenko. Bay City shooting their third free throw shot of the game. Big man in the middle for Central Valley is Vlad Dermanenko. He has shown a lot of promise and is only going to get better as he is just a sophomore. Well... Size like his can't be taught. Not the most polished player, but you like his approach on the floor, and you expect him to be a factor as he develops. Now here's Fresh. He's guarded close, and that one drops. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. They said he's leading by eight. Pass to Groove. Shoots over Dermanenko. And no good. Trying to use the glass. And even three on three break. Here's Andrews. Bobby Erickson with the rebound. Now the Flames with it, and here's Sheldon. He's guarded by Marceda. Sheldon with the bucket. And this rise in fire mindset, impressive. Sheldon seems to have great confidence in his ability to score. Out left to the wing. Pass to Zadirko. Dermanenko down low, and he's covered by Groove. You have to love the way Che operates as a captain of this team. Four years here and always stepped into the role of both on and off the court leader. Now here's Green. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And with Che, every player on the Flames looks to him to lead the charge. He's shown he can get it done, not only with his contributions on the court, but really the manner with which he carries himself off it. Very mature and world-minded for a kid his age. And the second free throw, good. And four years now in Bay City, the coaching staff speaks highly of Che's work ethic and attitude. And we're seeing it now in this big game. And the layup is good. Green's got the lead up to 14 now for the Flame. Well, there you go. One team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and the other team in scramble mode. Now here's Fresh. Pass to Indra. Here's Marceda. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Erickson. And again, it's Central Valley missing. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone is afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. The drive by Green. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. And so it's Bay City in command with a 16-point lead as the buzzer sounds. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing. Welcome back, everyone, to Bay Pavilion, home of the Coastal Conference Tournament Final. Flames with a big lead after the first half. You know, the Flames came out and completely ran away with things. Started strong and then had a flurry of scoring to close out the half. And, and with the way they are commanding this game, I have a hard time seeing the Hawks closing the gap. They'll do what they can, but the Flames are one half away from raising a Coastal Conference banner on their home court. Well, the four-year senior Jay 
could have made the jump to the NBA many times, guys, during his days here. And some have wondered why he has it with so many others choosing to leave school early. But Shane loves this school and knows the NBA will be there for him eventually. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Up top, Edwards. Shoots. A nice jump shot from the top of the key. Edwards got 11 points. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Out to the wing. Green against Edwards. Back to Jay. Pass to Groove. Rebounded by the Hawks. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Inside, Erickson. And good that time. Erickson's got his second bucket. Well, the Coastal Conference, once again, a strong conference amongst the entire college scene. They're expected to send at least a handful of teams to the tournament. And here's Fresh. Pass to Zadirko. Up top, Edwards. Now here's Fresh. Guarded by Erickson. From deep. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Sometimes tournament games come down to who wants it more. That time, it's Dave. From deep green, another three for Bay City. And as you said about the Coastal Conference, they have a number of teams that could be playing in the tournament a week from now. Well, there is so much talent at every school. I could see maybe four or five schools making it in, regardless of what happens the rest of the way between the Flames and the Hawks here. Sheldon up top. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Nine points in the game so far. What a tough take. In the end, Sheldon was just locked in on scoring. It's that simple. Well, even though this is the conference championship for these teams, both sides will most likely find their way into the bigger tournament that follows. Green taking his time here. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And with what you said early, both these teams almost locks to be in the field of 68. But winning your conference is a huge boost to your seating. Not to mention that there are bragging rights at stake. I don't expect either side to give anything but 100% here. No clue how he got that one to fall. And for Central Valley, they've gone one for two on the night so far from the Outside, green. Erickson outside. Back to Jay. There's the three. Falls right in. He is 8 for 11 with that shot. And you can tell he's looking for his shot. He just believes in it. You know why? Success breeds confidence. And he's certainly been successful from there time and time again. Back to Marzeta. Here's the floater. Green with the block. Love the timing from Che. Blocking shots isn't easy, but there he did great work swatting that one away. And a big lead here for the Flames. Everything has been working for them, and they're in complete control of this game. Well, you think they are going to call off the dogs and rest their starters soon. They have this locked up. No need to risk anything. Yo, Tate, 
Kick rocks, Kobe. I'm going unconscious tonight. I didn't you could go to this lead play, boy. That's the way you go out. Proud of you, Jay. Hey, thanks, coach. I'm right. getting that championship this year. Either way. Yes, sir. find out until tonight or tomorrow on Porter. I know. I know. It ain't easy watching your brother fall like that. But hey, listen. Don't let a moment of darkness take away from what y'all did tonight. This is what we work for. All right? Y'all brought Bay City back. In fact, you might have saved my job. When we find out our seed, we'll get back in the gym and keep this going. All right? All right? All right. All right. All right, good. Good job. Hey, coach is right, y'all. We bled for this. Gru, how much weight you put on last summer? 35 pounds of raw stony and steel. 35, huh? You must have been training with the Russian Olympians again. Ty. Your turnover ratio last year was one and one. What about now? Three to one. Young CP, steady feeding the greedy. <laughs> no doubt. Gonna make one heck of a state for our major one day. <laughs> Man, you know who else left for this? Porter. I mean, the kid had peanut minutes, but he stayed in the gym, grinded, right there beside us, and he never complained, not once. Man, people have been telling me I should have gone pro since I got here. But this is what I've been waiting on. Y'all my team. We gonna grind together, guys. This is our time. Now let's do this for our brother Porter. Let's bring it in. Play for Porter on three. One, two, three. Play, play for Porter! Porter. 